So now with these tools and hammers and screwdrivers that we've been learning in our exponent videos, we're going to learn to apply them in solving an equation. So let's get down into it. But remember, like, subscribe, and click that bell button. And so now we have seen how our exponent laws can help us simplify expressions, but we have not yet seen how they can actually help us solve problems. So let us look at the two situations that we will be confronted with. The first situation where we have the variable in the exponent and the second type of question where we have a base as a variable. And so in the first example, we have 2x to the power, 2 to the power of x equaling to 8. Now, if I want to solve an equation where x is in the exponent, then I must always first get the bases on either side of the equal sign equal to each other. And so 2 to the power of x cannot be changed as that is already a prime number. But how can I rewrite the number 8 as a base of 2? And some of you might already be one step ahead of me knowing that 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8. And so now I have an equation where 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 3. And by logic, we can now say, therefore, that x is equal to 3 since the bases are the same. And there I have solved the equation for x. And so let us look now at the second type of equation where the variable is in the base. And now we have 3 multiplied by x to the power of 5 equals to 96. And so here we have to do a multi-step process. As we can see, we can't really try and get the bases equal to each other as the, bases, as the base here on the left-hand side is a variable. And so we will try our best to see if we can get the exponents equal to each other. But before we start, we first need to get rid of this coefficient. So we divide both sides by 3 and we are left with x to the power of 5 equaling to 32. And with some trying and testing or either using the factorial button on your calculator, you can also find that x to the power of 5 equals to here 32 can be written as 2 to the power of 5. And so now where we have the exponents being equal, we can say something about the bases, similar to what we did in the first example. We can say, therefore, x is equal to 2. We can say that the bases are the same. And in that way, depending on what the situation calls for, where you find your variable, that will determine which method you use. So now it is your turn. Go ahead, try it out, and remember, do your best and pray for the rest.